Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to your Soul 3 Revolution with me, Lise. And there's Reggie. Um, I'm going to do a morning buzz, see what's going on before the work day. What's the vibe of the day? Make it a great day, guys. Make it a great day. General message for the collect of the IV. Let's get it. Filter water. Okay. Show me, spirit. For my collective, for the collective, the if. Someone's going to try to jump. No, Reggie. No. Let's see. What's the strongest energy coming in today for the collective spirit? Strongest energy coming in. Why? Okay, how do they overcome it? Okay, so for some of you, this is an actual love read, and it's saying that in your relationship right now, you're having some problems, and um, it's keeping you up in your head, um, but to and a lot of stuff has happened. You guys have started over. You tried new things. This isn't just love. I'm actually seeing it in business, too. Those are the two that are standing out. Um, a lot of drama around you, a lot of like busy birds, something like that. Something started over a few different times. You have a lot of passion for this person or a lot of passion for this business endeavor, but there's a lot of chatter in the background, right? Um, you came to like some sort of lightning moment with regards to what this is for you, whether it's love or business. You chose to go on your own or to go a different way and close out a cycle. It's like the wounded warrior, but it's also saying, um, no bite, but it's also saying that um, you didn't, you were strong in going the way that you were going. Um, and to remember that um, love matters, it's something like that. Um, if it's for business, it's follow what you love. So some of you could have left a job to go on your own. And you're making it happen. Other of you, vice versa. Maybe you were we worked um, on your own, and now you're in a nine to five, right? Whatever this is. If this is a love read, it's like to remember love is here. Six of Wands, moving away to mental peace. What else do we got? Yeah, detached and just like. Um, Caution to the wind, anything that doesn't serve your highest, best good, if it doesn't fulfill you emotionally, it's got to go. And you've walked away from all of that, too. You feel free. No, Reggie, not on the table. You feel free at this time. You got something on your mind still, though, something about justice. Oh, you're not in delusions anymore about you're not emotionally confused and you know what choices you're going to make for justice. You've looked into yourself, too. You figured something out and now you're so happy. You're so carefree and happy. Wow, this is beautiful. All right, let's see. And um, what can the collective expect today for energies? What can they expect? You can expect friendship, bonding, people that got mad love for you, you got mad love for them, and truth and clarity. Moving like all forward movement. You can expect a good day. Today's gonna be a really good day, guys. Six of Cups to the Star, King of Cups, Ace of Swords. Friendship, bonds, love overcoming stuff bringing up new ideas for things that are um, that you got to love love for and it's the truth it's also a lot of success coming into you because of clarity on something that you love like this is going to be like make it a great day it's already becoming a great day and that my loves is what i have for you today it's a quickie let's see if there's any final thoughts final thoughts for my collect of the is spirit final thoughts some of you need to wait Oh, final thoughts is to wait on something. Three of Wands, waiting. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, more waiting. 
Final thoughts are you're waiting to make a logical decision and a practical one too. You're, some of you are waiting to decide if you're going to juggle. You're juggling a logical choice, but also a practical choice too. The advice is to hold off on any decisions at the moment until you've seen it all and you can make it both happen. I'm hearing right now you can make it both happen. So maybe there's two choices. Um, like because if a logical, it's like you're stuck in a logical decision and you're stuck in a practical decision too. Um, maybe some of you think it's only one or the other. I'm waiting to see what comes in so that I can make a logical decision and a practical decision, right? But um, if you just hold off a little bit longer, you'll see you can get both. It will be a logical and practical and to not get stuck. You're going to manifest, you're going to bring to reality the decisions that um, you're going to bring to reality a final decision on something. Yeah. Remember who you are. It's going to be, a, remember who you are, what you want in life, where you're going, where you're at, where you came from, and be fair to yourself. Some of you, this is a contract, and it's going to go in your favor. It's the queen of swords, the queen of logic, but also the queen of contracts to something fair. You're not, you're going to turn your back to anything that's like less than what you deserve and or earn. It's also saying um, any breadcrumbing from any person, place, or thing can get the fuck out too. Yikes. See you later. Yep. Yeah, remember who you are, the Hierophant. Like we walk, sometimes we have to, sometimes we fall to the depths of the despair and there's only one way to go up and through the dark we find the light and not to forget who the fuck you are, right? Rock, you rock it. You rock the Hierophant. And all ways, shape, forms, or fashion, you're not changing yourself either. You are who you are and there's nothing wrong with that because of the, um, much inner work that you've put into yourself. So what if you're a little quirky, a little weird, or um, it's something like being original, being unique. Who cares? You're a good person, male and female. You're good people, right? Reggie, we know about, we talked about this, not the table, not the kitchen table. I'm in the part of the kitchen today. Okay, change scenery. All right, that's what it is though. It's also saying that if this is, has to do with love or romance, that um, you know what you want in life, lovers, you know what type of match you want, right? And that's, and you're like going to stay in your queen of cups energy until you get a very laid back queen, intuitive queen, emotionally intelligent, very uh, nonchalant because um, of, it's just a nonchalant nature. It's, it's not good it's not bad right like it's not like we should strive to be like this or we should strive to not be like this it's just an energy that you're in right like it works for you because you're peaceful and you're balanced and you've worked through your shit so you stay you reside in an energy that is most familiar to you which is true to you which is loving caring kind compassionate right but you still have boundaries too right it's like people you're not allowing People, places, or things to take you out of your energy that you reside in. What makes you happy emotionally, right? Like you're just, you're having, you have such a peace about you right now. Reggie, I love you, buddy. It's like that. Some of you might be waiting for some higher knowledge to come in to make that choice. Um, then you'll see that it's fair um, and you will be able to pull up in your mind all the truth and logistics of what the you're going to figure out a way to make something work where you thought you only had one choice. But it's like, if I do this, then I get this. But if I do this, then I get this. But you didn't think that if you did this and this, you could get both, right? It's like one decision can, it's something like that. You can get what you want because the universe is, it's on your side. It's in the favor of, you know, um, truth and honor and justice. And it's in the favor of um, who works in the light, who walks in the light. You're going to get what you want. It's going to be better than what you thought. Now, that's in business that I'm getting a real strong emphasis on. But it could be love too, right? Take it how it resonates. Make it fit, but don't force it, right? And that's what I have. That's the vibe of the day, guys. Slow and steady. Um, you're slowly... Oh, yeah.
For some of you um, in romantic relationships and friendship um, relationships, um, you, you still need to get over something within yourself a little bit. You need to like, um, something's still keeping you, not stuck, but it's like the way that you see the world, the way that you view the world is through real eyes. You don't miss a beat. Um, you know, sometimes guys, when we first come out of healing, um, we see the red flags everywhere on everyone. We're like, whoa, and you almost get nervous because everyone's got a fucking red flag that you don't want, right? But I think it's just that we're hypervigilant during that time because we don't want to repeat what we did. We don't want to repeat mistakes. We don't want to repeat, and you know, we've learned. I'm seeing that, that you're coming out of that, but you still are cautious a lot and you use your intuition. It's like, I'm not getting betrayed again. And High Priestess to the Ten of Swords. But because of that, the Ace of Pentacles is yours and also the Ten of Pentacles was here too. So it's like you really standing up for who you um, like are at your core and what and who and what you're going to allow in your circle, your energy. Um, but you might be holding the reins a little bit too tight, guys. Not all of you, right? And if it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. I know I was guilty of this, you know, like not allowing... Um, being too cautious with people, right? And so I would suffer in the sense of I was not letting uh, good people that were actually good people in, not that I was discarding them or keeping, I was just like cautious, right? Um, but the more we heal, the more you see that not everything has to be emotionally confusing. And if we look at things from a detached space, we can pick what we want in life as long as we're picking from the good things, right? Because maybe not everything in these cups are good, but if you're starting from a space where you're only accepting good, then there's either only one or two or three choices or all of these choices are good. It just depends on how you shape the life for yourself, right? right? Cutting people out is a necessity. We all grow people. Just as people outgrow us, right? It, it happens. But um, we can't go backwards and we don't stop. You just keep moving forward. And you'll see the strength that you have and the inner strength that has pushed you through is what's going to be getting you far in life too, guys. Your strength is turning, is giving you, and is op you're building on your heart. So, no, Reggie, get off. Get down from there. He's trying to mess with the tripod. Um, the strength, the inner strength, I think he's jealous. I'm not playing with them. <laughs> um, the inner strength that's moved you, you're building on something. You're building something in the tangible, practical here and now on earth, whether it's business, finance, career, creative, volunteer work, um, helping out. It's something that you're creating and making from your own inner strength. It's like the lion inside the lamb too. Lamb, but it's a lion. God hides lions inside of lambs like there may be there are wolves in sheep's clothing but that's okay because god hides lions inside of lambs it's like that you're building on some sort of strength that you have too you're making something happen on a financial with regards to some kind of and it's the lion part of it so it's like something you're super good at and something that you're like I'm go after it you got a lot of passion for it and you look then the king of wands with another lion see so it's the balance of the divine feminine, divine masculine, right? You're building on some kind of strength and something that um, to do with your past, but it's in business too. So, you know, however that resonates for you, uh, maybe some of you woke up and, for, and through your awakening, you realized this wasn't the career you wanted. Maybe you um, amped up in the same career, right? You did something that you never thought that you would do before. Or you didn't have like, you know... It's something about like through the healing, you found time for yourself and now you're laser focused on making shit happen even more so than you were before, right? It's like that. It's a whole new level. Okay. I had to make sure the mic was on. All right. And that's what I have for you. I see success. Lots of forward movement, success. You're manifesting success. What do I mean by manifestation? I see it in the abstract in my imagination pull it in. I work, I do these things on real life to make these things happen. Boom. You manifested it. You made it happen. 
Spirituality is just realism. It's just different words for positivity, optimism, right? We can't be positive 100% of the time. That's unrealistic. But we can stay optimistic, right? Like um, if I, you know, fell down the, I don't know, if I just fell down, right? And like I scraped my knee and my shirt and my jeans ripped and my shoe got scuffed. Well, if I stayed in that um, energy of, um, my day's going to be shit, I'll manifest that. Because what we put our attention to is what we manifest, right? Because it's where your mind goes. It's realism. It's it's science to innocence, right? Like it's, it's spicy psychology and some of the scientific data. It's more on the abstract and it's, you know, but um, it is what we pay, our mind is a powerful thing, what we pay attention to, right? That doesn't mean that like if you know your, you know, doing something that you're not supposed to be doing and then you try to manifest a positive outcome for it. That's not what I mean. I mean, like, um, but what we focus on is where our mind's going to be. So I may fall three more times that day because my mind is like oh, an overdrive of it, right? I may scuff my shoe again because my mind's an overdrive of it. It's what I pay attention to. Um, and it may give me an even better day, you know, emotionally, mentally, because I've stayed on that. Instead of like brushing it off, okay, that sucks, but like, what can I do? And you continue with your day and then you get everything done or you, you know, like it doesn't affect you because you're not putting your attention to it. Do you see what I'm saying? You switched your um, perspective from like, this is something that wasn't good that happened, but now I'm focused and maybe that wasn't positive, but I'm optimistic and shifting my perspective that the rest of the day will be fine. And even if it's not fine, I'm, it's going to be great anyway. It's something like that, guys. I hope that that analogy, metaphor, or story made sense. But I'm going to jump off now. I got work and i um, sure all of you do as well. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Peace and blessings, everyone. Bye. Love you. Hit that like button, comment, share, subscribe. Bye.